Hey guys, episode two of the Q&A. Thank you for all your amazing questions. I can't keep up. <laughs> okay, um, before I start answering, just a couple of things. Number one, um, a few people, just so you guys know, I've requested to like get me to follow them on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm not going to be doing that. And uh, it's not that I don't want to have friends. It's just like literally this social media is new to me and it scares me a little bit. And I'm just trying to keep up with... Um, all the interaction that's happening on my uh, stuff and uh, and so I'm hoping that I get to interact with most of you guys on there and that's not to say I haven't checked out any Instagram or YouTube accounts of yours and there's some really awesome stuff there um, but like even when my friends like nobody knows I'm doing this I'm keeping it top secret and that's because I like in the community of voice acting and, and actors I didn't want to like have something fail and have all my friends know about it and be like oh come check out my site nobody watches it Come and see it. You want to be a follower? I know. I got to grow this thing. Except for last night, Vincent asked to follow me. And I'm not, like, he would think it insulting if I didn't follow him back. So I insulted him. Buddy, hi. Hello, Vincent. If you haven't seen, the only person I follow is Vincent. Go to his Instagram. Tell him I sent you. Uh, but yeah, I, he's somebody I want involved down the road. I want to interview him. I'm sure he, like a lot of people are requesting that. So... But I don't want people to know about it. I guess he does now. But I don't want people to know because I, I, we got to make this massive together first. Get, let's get the following and then move from there. Okay, let's take... Oh, the other thing is... Um, there was one more thing. What was it? Uh, can't do that. And Oh, somebody said, why can't you um, put a shout out to people with their questions? Because literally, dude, there's like 10, 15 people asking the same question. And I'm not going to read off 15 names to say the question. So that's it. I mean, the odd person's got question that's kind of fresh and new but I, I you know there's just not time on youtube to do that like, like how many minutes am i already in on this intro it's gonna take forever okay where do we get uh nope that's from last time oh i'm so disorganized here we go oh yeah, yeah. how do you think zane got his ice powers uh, it is slurpy got a brain freeze just kind of just went down here into his face and Ended up in his toes, and then he's got ice powers. <laughs> uh, number two, what did you think of Zayn having different changes to his voice in season five? For example, when he spoke like a pirate. Um, actually, that was me, so it was cool. It was fun. It was, they didn't bring somebody to. There's like an actor that all he does is pirate voices. No, they didn't bring him in. It was me, so it was fun. I love it. Uh, funny episode. Did you have any say on what characteristics Zayn was going to have? I'd like to say yes. But it's also a no. It's kind of a uh, in between, and only because, like the the writers knew what they were doing. They wrote him how they wanted him. I got the part based on my interpretation of him, and then from there on, I think what happens in a in a, in a really successful cartoon is that the actor brings an element of something to the voice and the character, and then the writers start to acknowledge certain ways, mannerisms. And they start to write lines and, and situations according to those actors and what they do. So I believe I influenced it, but no, I, I that's the writers. They're awesome. Okay. Uh, were you told Zane was going to be a robot or did you come up with the idea yourself and then tell the producers your idea? If I did, I want a writer's credit. But unfortunately, I did not. That one was, uh, again, the writers, like, it, it comes to me on an email and here's your scripts for the next session. I the scripts sometimes I find out I die sometimes I find out I'm a robot <laughs> and uh, it's yeah I just get a cup of coffee and go for a read and see what's happening to him next uh, from all of Ninjago which woman is your favorite I'm assuming you mean um, season oh. you know I'm gonna have to go with the first one there was something really special about that now some people say the first season was like the DVD because we did like a little movie first. I I don't know if you've seen it, and and then it goes to the season with the, the uh, I was gonna say snakes, but it was all, all the uh, skeletons and bones and bad guy stuff. So that whole first season, I think that was pretty special because um, the voice actors we thought in the DVD this is gonna get big, but we really saw it get big during the first season. Like we heard like one Wednesday night on Cartoon Network, it was 3.5 million viewers, and it was number one. Uh, for their show and I, I don't even know I just recently heard it was still going huge so I mean that was awesome I mean how many millions of people like 
when you're a voiceover actor and you're not on camera and you're doing a little voice and you say a line in the studio and you know that millions of people are going to hear the way you do that line, it's the coolest feeling. Like, it, it is cool. Sometimes I think about that when I'm doing it. Um, is it ever hard to get the voice for the character or do you ever have to say the lines and the voice goes different? Like I'm going through puberty again? Uh, no, my voice doesn't crack. Well, I guess maybe the odd time I... Would you like fries with that? Maybe that kind of sort of thing comes out. But no, it does. The the actors know the voices so well, and the characters so well that the rare time it might the voice might be a bit high, a bit low, that sort of thing, and the director would fix it. But but no, most part we know our stuff. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna end it right there because we're over five minutes, and that's kind of my goal is to keep it around the five minute mark. So. Until next time, thank you for all your questions and thank you for your support. Spread the word. Let's get this huge. Thanks, guys. Ciao.